you very much for the kind invitation to be here at the EU in Brussels, uh, where I can speak about familial hypercholesterolemia. It's a deadly disease if it's not cured, and we do have the means to take care of the patient. During the course of my university, I never heard about familial hypercholesterolemia, so it's a disease which is not very well known by the doctor. I don't feel that enough has been done uh, to, in Europe to prevent FH. We need to have a strategy across Europe for FH and we also need to raise awareness for FH. And some countries are more advanced than others, but certainly in some countries there's less than 1% of FH cases that are identified. Many patients with FH are not treated properly, even if they are detected. Even if One thing to improve within the, uh, the next year will be the screening issue because there's still a great lack of screening and we have to convince our uh, healthcare providers that it's an important issue. Et je pense que là il faut vraiment qu'on se bouge tous tous ensemble en Europe pour pouvoir euh, médiatiser cette maladie qui peut vraiment être grave et qui peut tuer. Il faut vraiment re euh, retenir qu'elle peut tuer des gens jeunes. I think the most important thing is that we should identify those individuals at a young age because then you can really dodge the bullet. We have 19 European countries in the network and that is growing. In Belgium, for example, for uh, finding, identifying the FH, I think go through the media first and also uh, through the GP. I'm sick of talking. We've done it. Let's now take some action and actually find those patients, identify them, find the families and keep the families together. Let's not lose any more people unnecessarily. 